Army wants new 155mm howitzer, aka Big Gun. The new gun will replace the M777 towing howitzer used by the Striker Brigade Combat Team SBCT. According to Request for Information, a market survey that will tell the Army what the defense industry can provide. will be implemented at the beginning of this year. The Army stressed that it wanted a highly mobile weapon with the latest fire control and other technologies. This 155mm SBCT howitzer is required to maintain the key payload and firepower attributes of the current system while taking advantage of modernization efforts associated with long-range precision fire and advanced mobility requirements. First deployed in 2005, the 4-ton M777 is towed by trucks such as the Medium Tactical Vehicle Replacement MTVR, and any truck weighing at least 2.5 tons. It can fire up to 4 rounds per minute for up to 15 miles, or 19 miles using rocket-assisted projectiles. Manufactured by BAE, the M777 is used by the US, Canada, Australia and India, with orders for over 1,200 guns. In American service, in addition to the Striker Brigade, it is the artillery backbone of light infantry, air and mountain units. The M777 has been used in Iraq and Afghanistan, proving very useful in the Afghanistan war, an environment where heavily armored vehicles are hampered by mountainous terrain and primitive infrastructure. The Army is even planning to turn the M777 into a giant sniper rifle. But now the Army wants more modern weapons. While not giving a specific number for what it wants, the Army says it specifically wants the new howitzer to have the following attributes, mobility, including speed, refueling range, and off-road capability, ground and air transport, resistance of weapons and crew to enemy fire. The debate over crane artillery versus self-propelled artillery is an old one. 
In more advanced militaries, self-propelled howitzers are the norm in vehicles such as the 28-ton US M109A6 Paladin, a 155mm self-propelled howitzer, can move quickly, can shift to new positions under fire, and offer a level of protection. Protection for their crew although some look like tanks, they are too lightly armored to be used as such. Some soldiers use wheeled howitzers, such as the French Caesar, mounted on truck chassis to save money and reduce weight. On the other hand, tow guns are lighter, cheaper and most importantly much more mobile. They can be transported more easily by air and sea, and they can use roads and bridges that armored vehicles cannot. A damaged armored vehicle is difficult to repair or tow. A damaged prime mover for the M777 can be replaced with another truck. Considerations that are not small considering that most conflicts currently occur in areas with poor infrastructure.